In the past generation, the science of our seas has undergone a revolution. As the ice caps melt and coral reefs face destruction, the urgency to understand our oceans has never been greater. At the heart of the world-changing discoveries being made is a global team led by this woman. Heading an extraordinary network of some of the world's top oceanographers, this film will follow her as she leads a mission in South America. But we still need to complete the core mission and sustain the array. Working to extend the new system of science that is providing crucial clues in our understanding of extreme weather. What we're trying to do is to simply understand climate well enough that we can convince um, everyone that we know how the climate system is is varying and changing on long time scales. It's only through that international partnership and using lots of new technologies that we're going to be able to get the information we need about how the ocean is changing and evolving. In this episode, Dr. Susan Wayfalls is our Earth reporter, and this is her story. One thing I'm really interested in is how the ocean's changing, especially over long time scales. And so what we've been working on is taking data from the modern ocean observing system, so what the modern ocean looks like, and comparing it to the ocean 10, 20, 30, 40 or 50 years ago. We can look at the patterns of change and the rates of change and compare that with the models uh, that we use to predict future climate, how well they do for the last 50 years. We're having to do data archaeology and almost detective work to understand how to use that older information. We're the only people that can measure the 1990s or the 2000s and those times are never going to come back and the state of the ocean will have changed uh, into the future. We should care about the oceans because they really determine our weather and climate that, that we live in, our environment. It's those oceans, those anchors of our climate system, the flywheel of our climate system. They're going to be basically uh, dictating our future to some extent. Susan's passion has now put her at the heart of one of the most important areas of scientific discovery. Unnoticed by many outside a close-knit circle of oceanographers, a global network has been created using thousands of remote-controlled robots to monitor for the first time dramatic changes in the oceans. These robots have to bring in vital information from oceans which cover more than 72% of the world's surface. We are making a huge map. It's a map of the oceans. If you look at the surface of the seas, they have peaks and troughs, just like the land. If you look below the waves, you see a whole new landscape. All oceans have huge currents, carrying warm and cold water around the globe. Driven by winds and the cycles of change in temperature and salinity within the water, they have a huge influence on the patterns of the weather around the world. Measuring the currents helps us understand how heat moves around the ocean, and to learn more about its impact on the climate. 